Hey guys, Jessica here. In today's video, we're going to be going over your edits of my photo. This is an editing competition. Basically, I gave my photo out to the photography community and I said, the best edit of my picture wins a cash prize. So we got well over 400 submissions. I'm going to be going through my favorite ones and then announcing the winner. Who had the best edit? What did you guys come up with? Let's see right now. Let's get into it. Before I begin, I would love to thank the sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. Let me show you guys what the unedited photo looks like. This is the original photo that everybody got. So we're going to see how they transformed it. Let's begin. Christopher Ramos, I don't know what you did to this, but can you edit all my pictures for me? <laughs> this was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I love the gold tones. I love the way you edited this. I love how I'm just like zooming in like, mm, let's see what he really did. <laughs> love the retouching. You kind of lightened her eyes a little bit. You did a great, great job. It's a very clean photo and you really transformed it. So I'm very impressed with this. Let's go to the next one. Derek Laurie, first and first and foremost, I'm just sorry if I butcher everybody's last names or first names. Um, I'm sorry from now. <laughs> this one is just something about it that I just love. I love the dark tone, but it's so clean and it's so interesting. Like, look at the glimmer in her eye. There's a story behind those pupils or the iris. Or the eyeball listen it whatever it is i'm not an optometrist but you know i just take pictures but it's in the eye area and it, it's glimmering it's gleaming it's beautiful like little things like that really make the picture pop out i love the tones it's very dark and edgy and moody and it just fits the photo so well you did such a good job you guys killed this like i'm only on the second picture now i'm just i don't even i'm gonna be out of breath soon like you guys did such a good, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Can you retouch all my pictures? <laughs> I'm just gonna be contacting these people. Like, actually I have uh, the sweating. I need help editing, yeah. Okay, G Silver. This was their submission. This looks like a, a, a painting in a museum. I mean, what did you even do? It's just, it's beautiful. You guys did so good. You guys are the best. Honestly, like, I don't even know what to say anymore. This literally looks like the most beautiful painting. Like, I'm paying money to and waiting in line 15 hours, to, you know, to come look at this, to stare at it. It looks like almost like a digital painting. Look, okay, can I just take a second to appreciate the hand retouching? How beautiful that is. Can you teach a class on this? Because it's my least favorite thing to do. Retouching the hands? I don't want to. I just have the model wear gloves, you know? <laughs> Jared Barrow Turan, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jared, Jared B. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't want to ruin your last name. Jared's is such a clean, simple edit, and I appreciate it so much. Usually, the simple edits are the hardest to do, in my opinion, and I just, I love it. It's so simple. It's just a classic, beautiful edit. Let's zoom in here. We're zooming in on all these, you guys. So, uh, hope you guys prepared. <laughs> hope you guys are prepared. I mean, look at this beautiful, flawless edit. And then that hand, wow. You made that hand the shining star of this photo. It's gorgeous. Dawid Zadlo is the next editor here. Uh, looks like we have some lens flares in this photo. You added some makeup, which I love. I mean, it just, I you like popped out the makeup more can you do, i have a picture that can you just do this for me i noticed you even clean up her eyebrow that that's the nicest looking eyebrow i've ever seen in my life it's really interesting to see the same photo edited by different photographers how unique each of their styles are how different each retouch is which leads me to the sponsor for today's video skillshare and this is a great sponsor because they offer thousands of inspiring classes for creatives like me and you on topics such as illustration, photo, film, animation, creative writing. They have so many different classes that they offer where you can better your skills and learn something new. So their classes are a combination of video lessons and then class projects. 
And another great thing is that they actually have a community of millions of creatives where you can get feedback from them. You can get a second opinion. You can get a critique. Feedback and critique is very important as you're developing your own style and, and really whatever you want to do because they offer more than just photography classes. They offer video. Again, they offer animation, creative writing, marketing. There's a wide variety of stuff and you get unlimited access to it all as a member of Skillshare. Skillshare has classes for all skill levels and different schedules. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons. One class I can always recommend because it is from my dear friend Brandon. It's his class, Instagram Worthy Photography, Shoot, Edit, and Share. Brandon is so knowledgeable and has such a distinct style with his photography. If I showed one of his edits, you definitely would know that it's from him and it's because his style is so distinct. So he actually goes over his shooting and editing process, which is amazing. And it's so helpful to watch how other people take and edit their own pictures because then you can take those elements and apply them to your own photography. So his class is definitely one that I would recommend on Skillshare and he's just amazing person and photographer. So check his class out. At the moment right now, a lot of people can't do an in-person workshop. And honestly, a lot of times they're super expensive, but Skillshare is actually really affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So you can click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and start exploring your creativity. So with that being said, let's get into the rest of the edits. Next one is by Shiraz. Now I feel like I pronounced that right because I actually know some people named Shiraz. Shiraz did a great job. This is again more on the simple side of the edit, but man, just clean retouch. The first thing I notice are like the, the retouches. I'm like, let me zoom in here and you know see what's going on. Um, just very nice. And I love what you did with the makeup. You know, something about popping out the makeup, but not making it look fake is very hard to do. And I think you did that very well. Okay, Mary Lanvina. Wow, incredible. I don't even know where to even begin. This is such a cool picture. Like you did such a good job with the butterflies and then you added this lens flare, like beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, one thing, I think the contour might've been a little too much. I would've liked to see it like maybe 30% less, but I love it. I love what you did with the retouching. Um, it just made the picture stand out so much. I love butterflies. You know, not up close because they look like little demons, but from far away, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. I love them. Just don't, I don't want to look at them too close, you know? Let's zoom out of that, <laughs> basically. I love how you handled the background. It looks so fairy tale like and this definitely stood out to me. This edit to me, just fantastic. I mean, look, I'm just giving out too many compliments here. We need to start like a little bit of a roast, huh? Well, it's not gonna happen because you guys did a good job. I'm just saying. You know, you added the freckles. It's, it's just like a light, airy photo. You really transformed it. The thing is, stuff like that is really hard to do. You might look at this and be like, oh, like hardly did anything. No, no, it's really tough to get something that looks simple. And, and soft like this. So I just, I really, really like this one. I love the freckles. I wish I had freckles. Freckles are so pretty. Um, so I just, I really like this and how he handled the colors. So great job. The next one is Michelle Lamb. I know some people are gonna think this one's kind of weird and like maybe, like why, do, oh, why do you like this one maybe? But I actually really love it. it it's, I love weird colors like this. It just stands out and I, I think it was handled so well and I, it's it's a very unique edit and it stood out to me right away. I love these, like it's not completely saturated red but it's very bold and then you know we have like a blue highlight here filling in the whites and we have you know this sparkle in her earring. I just think it's, it's such a cool, it just looks cool, it just looks cool. It's, it's such like a weird color that I, I just like it. I like everything that's weird. The next photo is by Zach Holt. Just beautiful. I mean, I feel like I'm being way too nice in this. <laughs> but it's honestly like, you guys did such a good job. I don't know what else to say, but to compliment you guys. 
it looks kind of like more on the purple side with the eyeshadow and I really like it. It's like just a like tiny bit of magenta and I really, really like it. Yeah, right here, like in replacement of the blacks, you can kind of see like a, like a baby purple coming out almost. And I think it really complements the photo. The retouch is very nice, fantastic, amaz amazing, beautiful, talented, gorgeous. What else? I need some more synonyms because I'm running out. <laughs> I don't want to keep repeating myself. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is so good. <sighs> Why are you guys doing this to me? I can't pick all of you guys. I don't have that much money. I can't, you guys. Wh are you guys all going to the same class? Like, what's going on? Are you guys going to school together? You guys, like, edit these with each other? And then, whoa, They're amazing. All of them, okay? The close-up on this is... It looks like a renaissance painting. You just did an amazing job, Brie. Love this. It, yeah, it kind of looks like a painting, but then... It, what? what? Like, I could, I could easily Photoshop this face onto, like, you know, an 1800s painting. No one would know the difference. Nobody. Except for maybe the extra, the second piercing, maybe. But I'll Photoshop that out. No one's... They did second piercings back in, like, 1700s, right? They... Maybe they didn't actually, I don't know. Nikara or Nick Kara Gian Giannides? That's are you is that Italian? It looks like Lord of the Rings. It's funny I say that because I've never watched Lord of the Rings. <laughs> people say I should probably watch it. And Star Wars. Haven't got around to it. But I tell people that I am. So that's the most important thing. That you say you're gonna do it, but you never actually do it. But you it looks like you wanna you like you're forthcoming about your feelings but in reality really like you're not going to change your life you're going to be the same person that you were you're not going to watch it but i imagine it's a good movie it sound looks yeah that's the inspiration that i see in this photo what you did with the background is great i love these butterflies who told did, did someone pass around a memo about butterflies that i like them even though they, they're like little demons the, you guys you're doing a good job you know who told you i like the edit of this the orange and red tones it's a cool photo i like what you did with the background it's very creative listen i would have liked to see you added more in the background maybe like a tribe of like the barbie fairies you know the barbie movies like i have a niece and she's always watching the what is it the tinkerbell tinkerbell it's not even the same thing i'm getting old here i love the background treatment i love the woods i love being outside for 10 minutes a day, you know, breathe in the fresh air, go back inside, and turn on the air conditioning. Okay, this is by Ren Zotudio. I'm so sorry. At this point, like, I killed it. I killed it. What do I even, I have so many questions about this, which is why I wanted to, I just had, I just had to put it in the video. How? How did you even, like, what, what's the inspiration for this? We have the pink hair, which I, I love pink hair and then you what did you do you are you a makeup artist this looks phenomenal I feel like you were the makeup artist at this photo shoot with this look I mean you added a whole eyebrow you know the snatched like smoky eye look the lips look so good and it looks so real how did you even do what how did you do this I have so many questions is she in like a space station here is she in the middle of space and then is that the sun up here it looks like you know xenon anybody no giving me like xenon vibes when she was on the spaceship and then she was gonna go see protozoa does no one know that reference again yet another reference nobody knows if you know what i'm talking about leave a comment down below protozoa anybody super supernova girl no nobody okay that's sad i'm sorry but you're missing out it's an iconic movie, so I'm surprised you wouldn't know the classics. Supernova Girl. Just saying, look it up after this. It's gonna change your life. Okay, why did I get into a whole Xenon tangent? Because <laughs> of this picture. It's, it's a good one. Then we have Ben Mark Herrera, right? Because you don't pronounce the H. Herrera. Herrera. I can roll my R's. Being yelled at in Arabic really helped my pronunciation. So, I really can't even argue with the rainbow in my photo it's just beautiful i don't even know where you got this did you make this yourself I, listen i don't know but it's looking like lucky charms i love it 
I don't know why I even said, I don't even know, I think I'm hungry. This edit is really cool. I love the rainbow lens flare. It's interesting that the background is more saturated than the model. So that's very interesting. I think it's, it's such a cool edit. So thank you for your submission. Erica, wow. I feel like she belongs in one of the Twilight movies. And you know what? People have been leaving me comments saying that I look like the female version of Robert Pattinson. And I swear to God, I'm not kidding. People leave me that comment. I personally don't see it. And it's like, I mean, I never liked the Twilight movies to be honest with you. So are you saying I look like a vampire? Is it because I'm pale, you guys? Because I can't tan. I'm, I'm on medication right now. It just won't let me. I just can't do it. Or I'll burn my skin. Very cool edit. Love the makeup. Such a good job. The zoom in on this one is so beautiful. A plus girl, A plus. This one is by William Egger. And I think it's so interesting because you definitely did something to the background here. I feel like you clone stamped more of the bokeh here. And I like it, it looks cool. It's kind of like wrapped around that side more. And you know, you added these little butterflies. Who, this was planned. Who did it, you got just, just be honest with me, you guys. <laughs> who, who is telling you guys add the butterflies? I love it. I love it. I have nothing against. I just want to know because it's, I mean, three. What do you guys have, like a butterfly club? I just want to know. You guys got like a Facebook group for this? Invite me. I'll join. I want to join. I want to be a member. Actually, I really do love butterflies. I know I'm like making little jokes, calling them demons, but I truly love them. I really love the tones in this picture. Wish we would have seen a little bit more retouching, like cleanup around the eye area here. But I love the tones and I, I love how bright it is. Like the tone curve on this is so nice. So great job. I have the runner up. The runner up is going to be Michelle Lamb. I really love her photo. It's so different, you really transformed it and I just think that you made it stand out. And it, it's such a unique edit, so you deserve it. Second place, beautiful, beautiful job. This was such a hard decision. There were so many amazing ones, but the one that stood out to me the most was by Mary Lanvina. You win, you win first place. I think this is a beautiful, gorgeous edit. I love the little elements that you added and I think you did a great job. So congratulations, Mary Lamfina, you won first place. It was so hard to choose, you guys, I swear. I swear there were so many, like I was choosing between like three for first place. Both of the winners will be receiving an email to follow up and get their cash prize. So congratulations. If you're wondering how you can join the next editing competition, join my Facebook page. That's where I announce everything and I have the submission process. So I'm gonna have a link to all that down below. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have another editing competition. Like I love doing these. I love seeing what you guys come up with and I love giving out prizes and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for your submissions. Again, congratulations to both winners and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.